Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a look at your forecast in detail. This is our weather blog online that we try to do as often as possible, usually about twice per day. If you've got any questions about like what you what you would like to see on here, please let me know at austin.onik at wrag.com on our weather blog, weather overtime forecast. And the red bar at the bottom of your screen winds out of the south today instead of the north as that area of low pressure moves its way away from us. Temperature in the orange triangle back into the lower 80s once again with a few clouds in and around the Mid-South area. Winds turn around to the west later on this evening and then partly mostly cloudy skies at times before clearing out and low temperatures tonight going back into the lower to mid 60s. Don't have a lot to talk about in the way of rainfall in the forecast. A little bit coming up by week's end and some much warmer temperatures. We're not done with the hot weather just yet. Not exactly record breaking but nowhere near cool either. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little while. Next several hours will show plenty of sunshine mixed in with some clouds. Some golfers out on the Windy Country Club course for early this morning and looking pretty good on the horizon with no rainfall expected. Temperatures by lunchtime in the high 70s to lower 80s and looking very pleasant throughout the rest of Sunday. So taking that stroll to the park, walking around the block, getting the yard work done, heading out for 18 holes of golf. Looks pretty good across the Mid-South area for early on. For the cough temp decks, exclusively exclusive and tongue firmly in cheek on this. Your coffee temperature, your business. Cool this morning, good for a hot cup of java. I'd like to do some morning wake up for a little bit there <clears throat> and into this afternoon, excuse me cooling off a bit as temperature is going to be back into the lower 80s so an iced coffee may not be such a bad idea or maybe a cold brew out there remember your temperature your business if you get a brain freeze or burn your tongue that's your particular business and your fault not ours earthquakes in the mid-south some just north of the area but specifically none to report within the last 24 hours so nothing going on directly in the Mid-South area, so good news there. Union Plaza on the Ole Miss campus, very busy yesterday, a lot less so this morning as cleanup last night from yesterday's game festivities went pretty well, and sunlight this morning illuminating a lot as we look back toward the Grove on the Ole Miss campus. Mississippi River is looking pretty good at Memphis, and we're going to be rising over the course of the next couple of days. Not huge, but noticeable, and looking at a 5.37 reading early this morning, expected to be a 6.5 by the time we hit by early Wednesday morning or so. That doesn't mean flood stage. That means it's going to be about six and a half feet. The level of the river about six and a half feet above the zero stage. A typical marker for the river flow average in the Mid-South area between high and low. And as of right now, no major problems up or downstream in the Mid-South area early on. Rhodes College campus, plenty of sunlight this morning and looking at temperatures in the upper 50s from early on. Plenty of sunshine with a few clouds mixed in as we record this at about 8.10 this morning. No rainfall yesterday. A dry start to October and it's been very dry in the Mid-South as we go through September. We only managed two-thirds of an inch of rain for September. Not exactly a record-breaking month, but we could use some more rainfall as conditions continue to dry out across much of the area. Just about a foot ahead for rainfall for the entire year, thanks to all that rain that we picked up in February and March. Temperatures yesterday just below normal, right about at normal. 79 degrees the high temperature yesterday, 57 the low. <clears throat> Excuse me, 39 the record low, reverse that, and you got the high temperature of 93, both set within three years of each other, so interesting to see that happening there, and just about as typical as you could get for a day in Memphis where it comes to temperatures. Sunlight today, we're at 11 hours 45 minutes, going to be dropping down to 11 hours 44 minutes into early tomorrow. Burn bans in effect for the Mid-South, and fire danger remains basically low for much of the area, so good news to report on that. But as we go throughout the rest of the next few days, several counties in Mississippi, including Tippa County in the News Channel 3 viewing area, Union, Lones, Chickasaw, and Monroe are now under burn bans as conditions worsen for the possibility of wildfire. Tennessee does not issue wildfire alerts or burn bans except on a county-by-county, city-by-city, extreme need-only basis. So if you're heading out the door pretty soon for camping, anything like that, watch your wildfire and check with wherever you're going to be camping to make sure you actually can get a wildfire going and have something available to get the fire out as per necessary just to make certain that you're being safe out there. Almanac for the moon will be rising this morning at 818. 
barely visible in the sunlight, much more visible past sunset tonight, a 2.2% of full waxing crescent, 7.54 p.m. moonset tonight, 9.12 in the morning, it'll be up tomorrow, and 8.28 tomorrow evening, hopefully some good sunset views of the crescent moon out there. Temperatures throughout the rest of the day, through midday, temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, heading into the upper 70s to lower 80s early this afternoon. Cloud cover, the gray colors across the screen, that's where we'll see the best possibility of anything involving clouds, but there could be more scattered clouds around much of the Mid-South. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 70s to lower 80s for highs. Dropping into the 60s to lower 70s pre-news channel 3 at 10 right about the time elementary premieres for its season premiere on CBS tonight. And by midnight into daybreak tomorrow morning I'll be on with your forecast as Todd Demers is out of town on vacation. Mid to upper 50s for low temperatures tomorrow morning. A few lower 50s possible but not doing too bad out across the area. For the rest of the day, temperatures back in the lower 80s, just above normal. Dry today, dry tomorrow. Temperatures back in the mid 80s for highs. Cool in the morning, warm in the afternoon for the kids heading home from school. Continued warmer on Tuesday, highs in the mid to upper 80s, close to 90s by the time we work our way to Wednesday. Chances of showers and thunderstorms remain out of the forecast until we head Friday into Saturday. And then back in the lower 70s for highs for Saturday and Sunday. And lows Sunday morning into Monday morning now next mid to upper 40s so some nice cooler weather coming our direction kind of tempering the temperatures by just a bit so to speak getting out of the very warm conditions out there but we can still hit some record highs into this time of the year so not surprised to see the lower 90s lurking out there but nothing major taking place at this point if you'd like to learn more about severe weather check out wreg.com slash weather for information about this graphic and where you can contact the national weather service for more details free and open to the public good opportunity to learn more about severe weather being taught across the mid-south over the course of the next few days and weeks so if you have any plans to learn more about severe weather you've got plenty of opportunities numerous ones out there all the way through october into early november as we approach the second severe weather season of the year so definitely a time to make certain <coughs> excuse me again that you are ready to go for the possibility of severe weather. If you've just moved to the area and are not used to severe weather, think about the possibility of getting ready for this and a good opportunity for this. National Weather Service meteorologists and personnel teach these courses about an hour, hour and a half out of your time. Great opportunity to learn a lot more about how to stay safe and more importantly, what to look for when it comes to severe weather. My forecast available throughout the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network and tune in for my forecast bright and early tomorrow morning on Memphis in the morning and then on Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh. It'll be on Monday through Friday morning from about 6 in the morning through about 9 o'clock or so, so a good opportunity to catch up on the weather there. And don't forget about our weather app. Go to the App Store, whatever phone you have, and search WREG Weather for the opportunity to download that. Pictures of weather across the Mid-South. We want to see them. Aonic underscore WREG3. Great opportunity to get your photography out there and some great photographic works out there. Major kudos to everybody who's sent in those pictures so far. Uh, David Ray Caudell, thank you for the sunset picture from Roundaway, Mississippi, if I'm not mistaken about that, yesterday. Thank you very much for that. And, of course, uh, Deborah Spiegel from areas around Humboldt. Some amazing pictures being sent in there, so thanks to everybody for that. While we're on the subject of thanks, thank you very much to Melissa Joseph, one of our uh, incredible directors here at News Channel 3, for putting together one of her incredible desserts and leaving me a slice of this that I'm going to have with some morning coffee coming up here in just a little while. So thank you very much. Nice working with the weekend crew here. As you can see, some very nice work being done both in the camera crews in the studio, back behind the scenes in the control room, and of course in the oven as well. So thank you very much for putting that together, Ms. Joseph, and thank you very much for your hard work behind the scenes. We'll have updates on your complete forecast again tonight. Tim Simpson will be in for me as I will be in for Todd and Mercy. Don't want to do a double turnaround as the schedule goes. So if you'd like to see more about that, tune in for News Channel 3 at 5 and 10 tonight. And then also for News Channel 3 Daybreak, where yours truly will be on the air. And more questions, concerns, ideas about what you want to see on here, again, austin.onic at wreg.com. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3 Daybreak for Sunday and for our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us, and stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online for the latest weather information.